Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. An icon living. Z Way. Hello. Good morning. How are you guys? How Thank are you, you for having me. Thank you for coming. I'm so beyond excited to be here. This is hollowed ground. I've watched every interview. Maybe really? every. Yeah. You guys are fantastic. You said that you said that before, so I believe you. Are you finished or are you done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she threw me off. She said, "Are you done? Are you finished?" I was like, "What?" what? Yeah, you it's were early. like, "Oh, yeah, I'm done." It's early. It's early. She, she's here because season two of Z-Way premieres tomorrow, right? today, Friday, April 29th. Yes. April 29th. Today. Today. Hey. Hey. today. Yes. And guess who is our first iconic guest? Who? Charlemagne. No, no, who's iconic? The first iconic. Man, shut I, up. I said, <laughs> I said what I said. Okay. <laughs> now, if you've, if you've never seen Z Way's show, she asks very interesting questions. Like, she'll be like, what percentage of white women do you hate? Okay. <laughs> what percentage would you say? I am an equal opportunity lover. Zero mm-hmm. percent. I love Zero everyone. Zero percent. Okay. Yes. okay. What do, she'll she'll, that she'll ask, what do you hate more, slower walkers or racism? Hmm. You know, some people said slow walkers. Hmm. I can Talking, understand that. Right? No, yeah. I, yeah. I, I know. I, I was shocked too. It depends what you deal with every day. I mean, we know Karen that. Karen Leibovitz says on the show, slow walkers. Iconic mm. answer. Iconic answer. I can walk around a, a slow walker. Yeah. But I guess I can walk around a racist too, though. Well, because <laughs> if you get rid of racism, <laughs> yeah, rid- <laughs> you gotta hate Marvel systemic power. racism more. Right? Like, some people can use arrows. I walk around with <laughs> racism, <laughs> and that's brave. That's brave. I love that. Let's talk about your background before you got this show, because yes. you started off with doing this show on your own on Instagram. Yeah, right. So, how did that even start? The pandemic was wild. Everyone was breaking, like they were making bread. That's so, I don't do that. (laughs) And so I started doing this live show on IG Live where I would talk to people like Caroline Calloway or Alison Roman or like Rose McGowan about race and it just kind of blew up. But I've been working through this idea since like 2016. Was it it that moment that made you discuss race? No. Okay. I I think that it's inescapable, Mm -hmm. right? Since birth, you have to deal with that. I don't want to Mm -hmm. deal with that. I want to talk about like contouring. I don't want to talk about race. <laughs> this sucks. Who wants racism? That's horrible. Yeah. So, but it's when you're a kid, you're 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 confronted with it, and mm-hmm. suddenly, okay, I've learned to process it as an adult. When mm. you were a kid, what did you want to do? You're from Brooklyn, right? No, I'm from I'm from Massachusetts. Oh, Massachusetts. I'm from. Oh my gosh, Bia is from where I'm from. I love, I love that. Bia. I, oh, that's my girl right there. Money. She's so bad. <laughs> and so she, I when I found out she was from where I was from. I was I was so proud. Um, but I'm from Massachusetts. And what was your question? What did you want to do as a What kid? did I want to do? I wanted to be the first black president and also a pop star, mm-hmm. which I feel like my job is that now. You could probably do, yeah. oh, you won't be the first black president. I know. Barack you could be the first black woman president yeah. yes. and pop star. You could do both. Yeah. yeah. Trump, yeah. Trump showed us celebrities can That's, be president. You're right. And I'm actually here to advocate for celebrities. Every I'll tell you celebrity about to say for can be. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I was like, okay, this okay, is a John right. Wayne. <laughs> do you sing? You say you want to be a pop star. Do you sing? Do you... Yes. Yeah. But but that, I wasn't, I'm not on here to talk about being a pop star, which I am, or being the first black president, which I will be. Okay. I'm here to talk about this little show called Z Way. Nope. You never seen, you never heard her song, um, Stop Being Poor? Oh, that's a banger. <laughs> it is. Sorry. I make bops. Am I, should I be ashamed of that? Oh, am I supposed, am I supposed to hate myself? Did you see the remix with Kim K? Where they put Kim yeah, K in? I did yeah. that. Oh, you, you did, did that. I made okay. that. What are you talking about? Yeah, Jazz yes, I my sister. Yeah. <laughs> did I see it? Yes. It's, got it's you. my intellectual property. I didn't know. Once, I got, once it got to me, I didn't know where it came from on the internet. Now, z has anybody ever, after an interview, asked you to take anything out? No comment. <laughs> Has that happened to you guys? Yes, all the time. Yeah, yeah all it the happens. Time. It happens. Let's be honest, okay? Mm-hmm. You know, and the thing is, sometimes you have to say, what? I can't hear you. You hang up the phone. Sometimes you do that. And then sometimes you do want to save people from themselves. Or, or, the, or, you know like, what? What? or if you know what's going to go out might hurt other people. I see. Yeah. I am never in the position where I'm trying to be malicious and ruin people's lives. Mm-hmm. That's not fun. That's not entertaining to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, that's not the point. So I'm just trying to like have good conversations. So I really believe in consent in the interview. Right. Honestly, mm-hmm. yeah. what, what's the what's the goal of your interview style? Like, what's your intention? What's the goal of my interview style? I think it's to to enter to have fun, mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. to not take life so seriously mm-hmm. and be so rigid that you can't even like see that your perspective is not the only perspective in the world. Ooh. Like I really believe that we all come from a vantage point that's like, this is the truth. I know it's the truth and I stand by it. But I think that you think that everybody thinks that in this room. Mm-hmm. And so it's like we have to come together and have like an interesting conversation and dialogue. Who was your mm-hmm. best interview? And don't say Charlemagne. I will never say who my best. I, my interviews are like children. It's mm-hmm. hard to pick a favorite. Could you pick a favorite? Yes. Really? You have a favorite child? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I would not endorse that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could never pick a favorite. Really? Who's I can't pick favorite? a favorite child. I can't yeah, pick a favorite really. child. No, because it's like Chet is so different than Mia Khalifa, uh-huh. which is different than Katja Zamalochikova, mm-hmm. which is different than Charlemagne. Let Everyone her. has a different energy. And mm-hmm. it's like for all these different audiences. And because we're coming together with different POVs to make one beautiful POV. Gotcha. You, you know, know, sometimes before you interview somebody, you have a certain view of them. Yes. Right? Oh, yeah. And then Definitely. after you sit down, you're like, okay, that person is completely different than I thought they were. Can you give us an example of when that's happened for you? Every single person has surprised me mm-hmm. because I ask surprising questions, right? Like, slow walkers versus racism. That's You're not going to get an answer that's going to to not surprise you in a little bit. You said foot locker versus racism? Slow walkers. Slow walkers. Oh, versus slow walkers. Racism. Damn. <laughs> but, um, I mean... I'll say about my crew that when the Chet Hanks interview, Chet came on, we do an interview, we do a two-parter. Mm-hmm. An interview and then we do his workout app called Hanks Fit. And so for the first part of the interview, it's so tense that he walks out and its pins could drop. You can you don't hear anything. It's really? quiet. He's like, really? You guys aren't going to say anything? It's quiet. And then by the, the gym segment, the way the crew turned on me in support of this famous baby <laughs> hurtful hurtful <laughs> hurtful and so like it's like the energy we're working through it together right and so i wouldn't say the crew expected what they what we got out of it together in that interview right it's because it's like you're on this journey together right. did y'all yeah. have any problems booking people for the second season because people saw the first season was like <laughs> oh no i'm not going on there well you tell me you're a guest well, I actually <laughs> felt that during the interview. You I said I said that. I was like, you did say that. I literally said to her, I watched this show because I'm a fan of it, and I said, I don't know how Z-Way is going to get guests for the second season, and here go my dumb ass. Yeah. On the, on the show. <laughs> Great line. Uh, you no, know, that shit was, that's, oh, excuse me. That was wild. That's wild. I mean, here's the thing. You're cool. And, like, I think it's about being, why did you make that grimace? Hmm? I know. I think that it's cool. He's cool. That no, it's cool kind of to come onto off. the show and be open and be vulnerable mm-hmm. and like make something together and make an have an interesting conversation. Mm-hmm. That to me is compelling. Mm-hmm. Like that to me is valuable. You guys have interviews every day. You are what, the most iconic black radio station. Like, what are you talking mm-hmm. about? You guys have a hit show for a decade. Like, it's a huge thing. And every conversation has a different energy. Yeah. And has and the really good conversations have people being honest. Mm-hmm. And is, are you finished or are you done? Yeah. That's yeah. that's iconic. Yeah. Like, that's so, I'm just trying to have cool conversations. And I think that what we, I think the episode's hot. So for people that don't know, how was, what was your breakthrough moment that got you this deal? Because there's a lot of women out there, a lot of people out yeah. there that want to do what you're doing. So what was your breakthrough moment that got you in position to get you your show? What was my breakthrough moment? Honestly, it's, it's not, it takes 10 years to become an overnight success. I saw that on Facebook. That's real. Like mostly my issue or rather my, solution was just continuing to do it Mm -hmm. and taking time to focus on my art and invest in myself right and at like I was working as a hostess and then I was like working at a comedy as like an assistant and like you kind of move up the rungs Mm -hmm. but I just spent time on being like not following any trends and trying to be the people who are hot but just being like what do I like what is my perspective what can I do endlessly where I feel like oh I don't hate this Mm -hmm. and the the resolution was that I created this like interview genre because it mixes like my love of like housewives and then my love of like I don't even know. Daytime news. television? Daytime television and news. Oprah, mm. Ellen, Regis and Kathy Lee throwback. Like, mm. old school. Yeah. Even Tempest. Oh. <laughs> even, oh. even Tempest. Wow. High, we love, we love, we love. Wow. So, I just, that's what I grew up on. I was born in the 90s. And so, as a result, yeah, I made something that I'm really proud of and I'm really happy with. But Man. time, time is the answer. You've been in the business for a minute, though. You were yeah, a, a right... Well, you were a writer on Jesus Samaro. I was a writer on Jesus Samaro, yeah. What else? I was a writer on... Okay, so I was. I wrote an episode of Our Cartoon President. I wrote an episode of Dickinson. I wrote for um, Robin Thede. Ooh. I wrote with Robin Thede way back in the day. Mm-hmm. On oh, no, what, the BET talk yeah, show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
And then Onion before that, and then I was an intern at Comedy Central before that. So well, that makes sense. So you were already in the CBS Viacom family with Deezus and Meryl. Yeah. And then what? Somebody saw you doing the Instagram thing and was like, you know what? This would be a good show. I think, yeah, a lot of people saw me doing the Instagram thing and thought that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so before you did that, because <laughs> you said you <laughs> but yeah. I mean, no, one person. I, like, I'm very happy. Yeah. <laughs> so you like, said you started this show. in 2016, this journey, right? Of knowing that this is what you wanted to do. How has yeah. what you first thought of and conceived evolved into what it is now? Honestly, like, I shot the first episode of the web series version of the show, like, baited. The day after Hillary lost, like that Wednesday, mm-hmm. <laughs> because it was just like, oh my gosh, the world as I thought it was was not the world as it is, mm-hmm. and so that that re- that was so shocking that it was able, I was able to create like this really shocking show because that was the time, and so every day in America is beautiful, and every day is a surprise, and so I think that that art is influenced by like the history and politics, and so when you're saying doing it since 2016, yeah, it's just like I'm constantly being influenced by like the time that we're in. Were you always supported from family and friends or was it one My of those things? My don't know what I do for a living. I, they don't know what I do for a living. But I think they watch this show, so that's exciting. Yeah. Are you serious? They, yeah. So yeah. what do they think you do? Because like, I used to listen to Jam and 94.5 growing up with Ramiro the freaking Puerto Boston, Rican yeah. and Pebbles. Mm-hmm. We used to be on there. They we kicked us off. We were too black. We were there for a little bit. Shut up. Like, like, yeah. started talking yeah. Trump donkey today and that was You're lying. gone. Yeah, really? yeah, 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 like for like two years ago maybe. Oh my God. Gosh, I was I listened to that every single day. They played Lean Back. That was like that was they they had oh on my little like I had a Panasonic like radio, this before the iPod. Mm-hmm. Um oh god, but uh, yeah they they listened they listened yeah yeah. I don't even remember what I asked you. No, I was yeah, she's so good at school. I was like, there's a family. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, your parents don't really know what you do. No, yes. not really. But like my cousins know that I'm cool, yeah. so they'll be like, Z Way's cool. So and, they, and when you're black, they just be like, automatically you're a rapper. They'd be like, oh, Z Way's a rapper. They honestly were, like, when I was driving back from college, like, my senior year driving to college, they were like, it's not too late to become a doctor. And it definitely was too late. <laughs> like, they, they're they not, but I think they're 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 starting to appreciate. What school did you go to? What college? Um, what school? I went to Northwestern. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I went to Northwestern. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With Chet Higgs, actually. <laughs> really? Met, yeah, yeah. I met Chet when I was Stop 18 playing. years old. Yes. I've known Chet for a minute. Stop King. playing. No. Icon, legend, he is the moment. You knew that was Tom Hanks' son back then? Did yeah. he present with that? He had a hit song called White and Purple. <laughs> I often remember Black and Yellow. White, white and Purple, White and Purple. White, 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 white. Can you guys play that during the show? <laughs> um, and, so, and so he performed that at my matriculation, which is like when you, like, you're, you start the college. Right. And it was iconic. <laughs> and we talk about that on the show, too. Matriculation. Y'all remember each other? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So y'all was He action- texted me. He texted me, yeah. No way. Yeah. He's a king. Icon. <laughs> Icon. Now, when it comes to... <laughs> <laughs> the amount of control that you have on your show, right? Yeah. You pretty much handle like a lot of the different aspects. Uh, like, do you produce? You show yeah, run, show you runner, editor. writer. I'm not show running this year. Hunter Speece is show running. I show run my season one. I'm yeah, but I'm creator, actor, <laughs> writer, producer. Do yeah. the, so how are you Music. when it comes to people like coming to you and saying, I think we should change this or do this differently? Are you receptive <laughs> to things like that? Yeah, yeah I mean. <laughs> he really has a song called. You never heard of this? White and Purple. No. no. <laughs> you never heard of it? Oh, I guess you're not familiar with the Chet Hicks overall. Um, his discography. Yes, he has really, a song called White Purple. And he performed song. it at my freshman year. <laughs> yeah. White and Purple. And he play, now when I tell you, he doesn't do it in a Jamaican accent. That's my only critique. Um, but it's, <laughs> it's fantastic. It's a bop. It's a bop. <laughs> Was that the colors of the school? <laughs> yes. So proud. Wow. Wow. Icon. <laughs> icon. Wow. I icon. thought you were joking. Okay. I'm I'm joking and I'm serious. <laughs> I, he's an icon. I love Jet. Also, what I was saying is how receptive are you to people coming in like saying, oh, I think you should try it this way or do this differently? It's a, colla- like, it's a collaboration, right? Mm-hmm. Because I could not physically do this by myself. Right. And so I have like my head writer, Joe Firestone, or I have like Hunter Spies, who's my showrunner, or my brilliant writers like Michelle and Sam and all- Ronald and Ike. Um, but it's just like we work together, but you have to have a strong POV, right? right. I could not have done this show even five years ago. Because I didn't know who I was as an artist. Like, it came at exactly mm. the right time. Because now I can say, no, this is what I do. This is what I, this is why I want and why I want it. Because you'll, like, especially if you're young in the industry, like, people will kind of tell you things. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> but they know. Right. They don't know what people are going to like. 
Um, well, everyone's we want to know, but no one knows. And so you have to like it yourself. You have to be able to stand by it. And so that's why, so I'm collaborative, mm-hmm. and I, but I come with the strong POV and I hire people who come with strong POV, honestly. Yeah, I, when, you, when you had dreams of being a talk show host, is this the kind of show you envisioned for yourself? I, n- yes and no. Honestly, mm. I did it. I, this show came about organically. So mm. the show could not have existed when I was dreaming about being a talk show host mm-hmm. because it, it's influenced by Eric Andre and like Zach Galifianakis yeah. and like Ellen and... So all those people. But um, I always wanted a talk show as as a kid. I'll always, like, there's always going to be a, a facet of my career that interviews people because I just love talking to people. You seem like a conversationalist. Like, you seem like the person that was having random conversations with people. Definitely. definitely. I was definitely a weird person in the corner like, hey, do you like Naruto? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> like, breathing heavily. What? You guys don't know who Naruto is? Okay, Naruto. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what's an that? anime joke Uh-oh. that's a deep oh. cut I'll make you uncultured first gotcha. place <laughs> uncultured show change okay like, you should try to seem like me okay um, yeah Naruto is an anime character who's um lovely we were just talking about you the other day. Saucy Santana was up here. Material girl yes. Shanana boots <laughs> so he was excited about that icon Bob I'm so thankful I'm so thankful to have that that song in my trailer I think it's <laughs> Absolutely fresh. It's so cool. <laughs> is everybody an icon to you? Everybody? Yes, yes, everyone's an icon. Because what I like about the word icon is the icon is subjective, right? Mm-hmm. Because to some people, like Martin Luther King is an icon, but to other people, like <laughs> Robert E. Lee is an icon. And that's everyone true. has a different POV. Yeah. And that's back to my thesis <laughs> POV. Who? POV. POV. <laughs> so do you believe POV. in right or wrong? Yes. Okay. What do you think of a sociopath? Because <laughs> it's all about perspective. I'm not committing crimes. Because I feel you, like I you do can't f- murder people. Well, unless T. Mm, unless yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, you can't murder people. That's bad, and I don't. But condone if, what if it's in defense? Activity. What if it's in self-defense for somebody trying to kill you? Are you threatening me? He's waiting for the interview to come out. Uh, no, no, no. No, uh, do I believe in right or wrong? Objectively, yes. I can say, I can stand by and say I have morals. I have mm-hmm. ethics. Yeah. Not to flex. <laughs> Has anyone ever... <laughs> <laughs> you Not also drink flex? water, too. Huh? I drink a lot of water. <laughs> I do uh, working on my fitness. <laughs> Has anyone ever not been prepared to come on your show and not known what it was about ahead yes. of time? No. We brief the guests. But some guests have different understanding of me, right? <laughs> so some guests are like, I've seen every episode, I know every clip, I can quote you. And other guests are like, hey! And But we work through that process with every single person. like, every, like Because I, I'm not trying to like hurt someone, right. I'm just trying to have a conversation. So sometimes you talk to people who know nothing about you, mm-hmm. and you can still have a conversation with them, you can still get to know them and find out even more surprising things than people who already have known them for 10 years. That's true. And so that's what, it's just like having, like it's two people. How does it unfold Honestly. when they don't know, when they never seen the show, and it's just like, how, how does, does it, that unfold? Like, how, how does it, those conversations usually happen? Because I can imagine somebody coming in and you ask them, you know, you know, what do you prefer, uh, a racist or uh, a slow walker? Well, right? well Farron Libowitz, so she actually, had, she doesn't have Friendly. a computer. Yeah. She had never seen the show. Mm-hmm. And my, my producer, Zara, had to go to her house with a laptop and show her clips. And she said, I'll do the show, but I won't play any games. Okay, well, we have games, but we're cutting those. And then she, she got she got to set, and she was like, um, I have a dinner with Martin Scorsese, so I will ha- be going soon. And we're like, great. Like, you're welcome. <laughs> like, anytime with friend, iconic. Are you? We're lucky to have you. Mm-hmm. And she ended up, we talked for like two hours. It was a pleasure. We became, we bonded over Toni Morrison um, and black and white movies, which I had not seen because I, I don't like, you know, I'm, I, I'm prejudiced against them. Um, but yeah, <laughs> and you're younger. You were born in the Ooh, late 1900s. Gaga. I identify as 19. Um, and but so that was a great interview. And mm-hmm. I asked her questions. I watched all of her documentaries. Mm-hmm. I asked her questions that she hadn't been asked before, mm-hmm. despite the fact that she's been doing TV since the 70s. Mm-hmm. Like she's straight up been in American pop culture mm-hmm. all her life. Right. And we had a conversation about so many different things. And same with Andrew Yang. Like all of these those characters, or this season, Mia Khalifa. Like. Mm-hmm. It's wild. Hannibal Burris, who doesn't even do press like that anymore. We talked about a lot of like really deep, interesting, surprising things that I didn't know. 
mm-hmm. because I was look, I was I wanted to have a real conversation. The Yang moment went went real viral for you. Yeah, that was yeah. wild. He's an icon. Andrew Yang is an icon. <laughs> what did he What did he lie about listening to Jared? He said he picked Jay Z and Lincoln Park as his well, favorite Jay Z album. I don't think he lied. He I think that he said that his favorite rapper was Jay Z, and when I followed up, he he said that his favorite song was um, Encore. The Lincoln Park version. I or something like that. pick I'm so not <laughs> do an encore. That was awesome. <laughs> How was Charlemagne's episode? Charlemagne's episode is I'm, we sent it to y'all. It's great. It's amazing. They did not send it to us. They didn't no, send it to you. No. My bad. What did you get out of Charlemagne? <laughs> I'm looking at what did you get out of Charlemagne that that people might not know, if anything. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna watch the interview and find out. But we talk. I mean, we talk about a litany of I things. I enjoyed it. What was it? What was the experience like mm-hmm. having me uh, coming coming onto my show and then me being on your show? I think it's always in for me. It's always a great experience when you actually like a show. Yeah. And then you're on the show. Yeah. And the show feels like how when you watch it. That's yeah, why yeah. I said in the moment, like I cannot believe I'm sitting here getting caught up in all of these questions. <laughs> he gets caught up, but it's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. We talk about black women. We actually use clips from the Breakfast Club. Ooh. So we promo the show. <laughs> yeah, we do. Because they're iconic moments. Yeah. yeah. And, then yeah. and then it's How the editing. How could we not? Lil Mama, hello. Oh, God. Oh. I, uh, uh, yeah, hello. Uh, hello. D- d- Monique, <laughs> Leonard, hello. <laughs> yeah. Those but Z-Way really show is about moments. the edits, too, though. Mm-hmm. The yeah. edits is what gets you, too. It's going to be... And the, what do they call it? A Chiron? Is that yeah, what Chiron. And the Chiron. Well, at one point, Charlemagne says, please don't stop this and say, Charlemagne hates black women. <laughs> yeah. And he's just asking for trouble. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what you did. No comment. <laughs> well, I watch the show, so I know that, though. I see it. <laughs> it's iconic. It's great. Like, you're going to, it's really fun. We t- I, you get a, a, It's fun. It's fun. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, how much of the Z Way character is actually you? How much of it? It's a character. The Z Way character is so rude. You think? Kind of. I, don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask as many questions in real life. Like, mm-hmm. I would be a little more, like, I wouldn't be so nosy. She's a little nosy. <laughs> but <laughs> but she's doing her job. It makes, yeah. yeah, she's doing her yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. She, she's a woman about her business. Whereas Z-Way, the person, is, I mean, I'm just feeling. <laughs> but I, I, bring my per, I bring my humanity to the character. And so mm. that makes it funny, right? Because you, you want to have, it, it can't be so, like, so without edge mm-hmm. that it's immemorable. Like you don't remember right. it at all. There's nothing, nothing is being said. It's just anecdotes that you've heard all press tour about the movie or the book or the whatever they're you know selling. So in the interview, you get a real connection into the respective guests of Charlemagne. It's like, they're really surprising moments and you've been doing interview for decades. Mm-hmm. And But there are questions that you've never been asked before. I a hundred percent. Yeah. So it's it's <laughs> just like, so. I, but that character, look, I'm not sitting here being like, how many black friends do you have? Like, mm-hmm. that's, that's comedy. That's a good question. I'm, but how like, many black how many friends do you have? She has asked it. How many <laughs> black friends do I have? I don't know. Well, no, white, I think you can turn the show. How many white friends do you have? A few. How many yeah. Asian friends do you have? Wow, kid, you guys are really in the <laughs> bait. I was not trying to make y'all. Uh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I've never thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is wild. Yeah. Because I feel like I've never seen either one of them with an Asian friend. Okay, we're, we're moving on. Years. We're moving on. My wife is part We Asian. What are, are you talking about? moving <laughs> on. <laughs> on <laughs> move on. Dot org. <laughs> move on. Dot org. What? How many Asian friends do you have? You guys are ridiculous. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't quantify my friends because they're not. They are human beings. There you go. Not tokens. Have you done your twenty three and me? Or no, I would never do that. Really? Why not? <laughs> you know what that is? You guys, you do that? I never I did, did it. Either. I did both. I did twenty three and me and African what'd ancestry. You, what'd you learn? What'd you learn? I am ninety seven percent West African. Now what? Sierra Leone, wow. Senegal, Guinea Bissau. Ooh, Senegal. Yep. Mm. Cool. Now, why would you never do that? Um, because I don't data. <laughs> data. Um, I don't data. data. I don't data. Mm-hmm. Um, I know. Where, I know where my parents are from Nigeria. Okay. Yeah, mm. they are from Nigeria. And that's all you need that's to know. That's it. Period. Shout out to Ibo. Shout out Ija. Shout out Yoruba. We do it live. Not not being <laughs> being that you used to do this. Jaco, <laughs> that's that's a deep cut. They know that they the real ones know. The real Nigerians know what you just said. They know, they know, they know, they know, they <laughs> know. <laughs> now you started this on IG Live and YouTube. Yeah. 
So being that you're the showrunner and the yeah. writer and everything, well, you were the showrunner and writer and all that stuff. Yeah. Did did doing it all yourself on the internet prepare you for this? Prepare yes. you? Yes. Okay. Actually, doing live shows prepared me for this more than anything mm. because live shows are the gutter. You have to like put you. I produce my live shows, mm -hmm. so I would book the guests. Like I book, I I produce my IG live show, so I would book the guests. I would DM Alyssa Milano. Would you like to do the show? You'd be an iconic guest. Um, like with and with live shows, you do the literal production. You'd build the things. Like you'd. You'd cut, you'd draw, you'd book, you'd sell the tickets. So you just are really aware of the economics of what it takes to make a show live. And that's cheaper than like a production. And the clothes Coach are really record. important. The clothes the are hair, the makeup, everything. Yeah, pa shout out to Pam Shepard. Shout out to um, Morel Hollis and Darius Thomas. Yeah, it's literally, the, I think the, the aesthetic is really nice. It feels very Barbie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and when you when you write on Deezus and Mero, like people, like Deezus and Mero seem like they're just freestyling. They off the cuff. So what, yeah. do you, what do you write? What do I write? I write a lot. I mean, mm. I'm in the writer's room every day. I'm actually missing it to be on this show. Oh, are you still writing with Deezer Mero? No, I'm still writing on my oh, show. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no, I stopped writing their show when the pandemic started. Yeah, when the pandemic started. Yeah. Did you see when they, uh, Envy walked off from them when they had them on here? I did see that. I did see it. What did you think of that? Uh, what did I think of that moment? I was mean, it it's, an it's an iconic okay. moment. And it's an it is an iconic moment in radio history. I yeah. hear that they're banned. I think is they that true? Not they're not banned. No. no. Okay. I think they've since made up. They've made up. Okay, good. Well, we celebrate love. We mm -hmm. celebrate community. Mm -hmm. We celebrate Ohana meets family. What? Ohana, Ohana means, means family. Ohana means family? Yeah, you never heard that? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Y'all are showing your age! <laughs> <laughs> what is that? That's like from Lilo and Stitch, a movie that came out like 40 years ago. Oh! Lilo and Stitch did not come out 40 years ago. It no, it did. Like it, it was a long time it ago. Was, yeah, like a minute. It wasn't 40, but it was a long time ago. It was ago. like 20 ago. years ago. Like, that little blue devil, <laughs> he's probably 42 years old. <laughs> Probably has a walker, <laughs> eats yogurts, probiotics. Oh, Z Way, man. Make sure y'all watch Z Way show. It premieres today. Tonight. What is it? It premieres on Paramount Plus and everything first, right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Showtime. What is showtime. No, Showtime is Monday at 11. Showtime okay, is so mon Monday. Yes. Showtime is Sunday, Sunday at 11. Sunday at 11. But it starts streaming on Showtime as well as Paramount Plus, Amazon, Hulu on Friday, April 29th, which is today. Yes. <laughs> and Z-Way, what are What are you guys laughing? Are you laughing at a black woman? No, we're <laughs> laughing with you. <laughs> Your energy is infectious, Z-Way. And what are the plans like besides um, this? Because yes. I'm sure what I are can the tell plans? you're the type of person that has other things in the pipeline of what it, what it is Always. that you want to do and aspirations. So what else? What else am I doing? I'm doing a million things. What else am I doing? I have a show in development. But right now, honestly, I'm working. We have, we're shooting another six episodes of the show. Okay. Hey. And we're booking guests Yo. as we speak. And we have it's some fire. <laughs> some have y'all shot some already? No, not yet. We're soon, soon. But I have to finish. I, I'm doing this, so I okay. can't do that. But you I'm gonna do that like soon. Clothes or beauty products or something. Somebody yeah. FaceTimed me from your set, and I was wondering if they was doing your show. Who? I don't want to say it because if you if they're actually doing your show. Okay. But it was two women. Two women. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll find out. Right, why after. would they be on set if they weren't doing the yeah, show? Yeah. Maybe they're doing the show. They're probably yeah. doing the show. Yeah. Who are they? I'll tell you later. Okay. Why would you <laughs> up and I said it, man? Was I, was just, I was wondering that. She answered, she, she answered my question because she said she's doing six more shows. Yeah, I thought she was, more and yeah. is there a guest that, okay, you want to just put it out there right now that you've been trying to reach out to and haven't been able to book yet that you're like, man, I really need this? There are millions of guests that I want to book. But okay. it's like, it happens how it happens. It falls in. But... If you're, I'm talking like who would I love to talk to? Doja Cat. I would oh, love, love to talk oh, to Doja I can Cat. See that. That would we be follow fantastic. each other on TikTok. Her TikTok's funny. Um, <laughs> That'd be fantastic. She's amazing. I would love to talk to Azalea. Oh, okay. I would love to talk to Azalea Banks. Yes. Oh, that'd yes. be fantastic. I would too. love. To, I would love to talk to Elizabeth Holmes of the Theranos. Mm -hmm. um, th but there's a myriad. I'd love to talk to Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. um, Azalea Ellen. is brilliant, by yeah. the way. I think I. I. I mean, the the chokehold that two one two has on a community. <laughs> yeah. The chokehold, mm. bops. I'm just saying, heavy, heavy metal reflected. I'm just, she's bops. I think she, we'd have an interesting discussion. I do too. Yeah. I think that'd be great. I think so. So we'll see. But but everything falls in place. Like me, the the. I think. Wait, whose interview fell? Chet's interview, for example. That was like a one day, or it happened on a day. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, yo, someone just dropped out. You want to do the show? Sure, come through. Okay, great. Wow, he yeah. wasn't even your first choice. He was my first choice. I asked him. I asked him to do the IG live. Okay. Back in the day, mm -hmm. but it like it th things fall. If it didn't work, it'll work. Like mm -hmm. it just mm -hmm. takes time. And so, but people come through. Like it's everyone who if we shoot in fourteen days. We shoot in fifteen days. Sheesh. So it's like who's in town? We'll do it. We'll make That's something intense. hot. 
yeah, it's I, I think the energy of the show is intense, but that's it's it, it's revitalizing, you know, like it's different. It's fun. Yeah. Right. Well, Z-Way, thank you for joining us. Thank, thank you, you for having me. We can tell you love what you do. So that's I right. think that's amazing. Tell them are to you follow finished you. or are you done? <laughs> I, follow oh. me at Z-Way on TikTok, at Z-Way on Twitter, Elon Musk's Twitter. That's right. Um, and at Z-Way F on Instagram. I, I will be starting an OnlyFans eventually. Oh, Why? Really? Because I, I... You see how much bad baby made? I'm, it's going to be funny. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Okay. Maybe yeah. he has an OnlyFans. Oh, I have to post pictures? I'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, it's Z-Way. It's, it's the, the Breakfast, Breakfast Club. Club. Good morning.